But what we're going to talk about today is breaking down belly bulge into three different types of tummies that we each may be sporting and why it's important to lose that excess weight, especially around your middle. And we're going to learn all of these great tips from one of our favorite internists. This is Dr. Holly Phillips. Dr. Holly. Thank you. Nice to have you back. So great to be here. Because it really is a significant health risk Very that we carry so. specifically around our middle. Can you yeah, explain why? Well, particularly for women, you know, belly fat, it's really not just about our shape, right? This isn't just about fitting in our genes. Uh, it has to do with our health. So when you can see belly fat on the outside, mm -hmm. that suggests there might be excess belly fat on the inside. On the inside, it's called visceral fat. It goes around our organs. And if you have too much of it, it raises your risk of heart disease, diabetes, a number of other conditions. Today, we're going to talk uh, to Jocelyn. Karen and Amy about mm. the, the shapes that we might relate to. So Jocelyn's shape is what we refer to as mommy belly. So she has just a little bit of a pooch here on the top and a little bit more on the bottom, kind of that three shape. So part of what, what creates the mommy belly is just we all have leftover fat after giving birth, but also there's a condition um, that, can, that can also exacerbate it. It's called diastasis recti. So when we're pregnant, our our abdominal muscles literally stretch out. They move to the side to make space for this growing human inside of us. Yes. Now, once we give birth, the muscles don't just snap back into you know, snap back into, in, into shape, they're stretched out. So targeted abdominal exercises, things like uh, crunches and also pelvic exercises, you've heard of kegels, that type mm -hmm. of exercise can help. Uh, as far as nutrition goes, it's actually very important for new moms to focus on omega-3 fatty acids. Those are healthy fats. Do you like salmon? I do, I love Good. salmon. Salmon's <laughs> an excellent, excellent source. Olive oil is great, as well as a number of nuts. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, Karen. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Karen, thanks so much for joining us. So Karen is stressed out, and Karen, therefore, has what we call stressed out belly. I'm going to try and... and uh, trace it here. There's Karen, you a look so bit happy. A, Are you so happy? <laughs> no. no. There's just a little, a little bit. bit of a bulge on top and not much more on the bottom. Stress causes belly fat, and, and it does it in a couple of ways. The first is through the hormone cortisol. When we're stressed out, our body makes cortisol. That helps us to be able to deal with stress, but cortisol also makes us accumulate fat in our belly. The other thing, when we're stressed out, we tend to miss out on sleep, right? We end up sleep deprived. Man, I'm a lousy sleeper. <laughs> Are you I a bad sleeper? Yes, I'm a uh -oh. terrible sleeper. Yes. Well, uh, sleep deprivation increases our appetite, which leads to, of yes. course, overeating and puts us at risk for weight gain, period. So it's all about getting enough sleep, right? Mm -hmm. Seven to nine hours. One nutrient to really focus on when you're stressed out is magnesium, and that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, as your body makes cortisol, we become magnesium deficient, so you want to replete it. So you get it in things like uh, bananas, we've got sunflower seeds here, leafy greens. Okay, and good. then Amy is last. Hi, Amy. Hi. There we go. Hi, Amy. Thank Thank you so much for joining us. So Amy has a shape that we call hormonal belly. So here we have, she mostly is just flat up here and there's a little bit of a low belly uh, sort of pooch there. The other term we use for this one is menopot uh, to refer to menopot. menopot. Yes, menopot. Gotcha. So as we, you know, women tend to, particularly when we're, young, when we're younger, put on weight in our chest and as well as our hips and thighs. That gives us that hourglass shape. Right. Rather than in our bellies, which gives us more of an apple shape. Men tend to have that more. The reason we have that hourglass shape is in part due to the hormone estrogen. But as we get older and as we approach menopause, our estrogen levels start to lower. They taper off a little bit, and that can make us more prone to developing weight in our bellies, I more of that apple right. shape. As we age, we lose muscle mass naturally. And with less muscle, uh, our metabolisms slow down. So two nutrients that are really important in keeping our muscles and bones, for that matter, strong are fiber and lean protein. So here we've got chia seeds. Uh, just about a tablespoon will give us our 10 grams of soluble fiber we need a day. Ah. Uh, chia seeds are great. We've got lentils. It's a great source of fiber. Here's some lean chicken for lean protein. Something to avoid. The breads, bread and pasta, the simple carbohydrates, and particularly as we age, there's no, you know, those empty calories, there's nothing we can do with them. Dr. Holly is lovely and okay. brilliant. That's why we have her here. Thank you to Dr. Holly Phillips. Very Thank nice. you to our girlfriends here, our dear friends that helped show us our example.